our first panel this afternoon called Scaling Smartness. Um, we have uh, one artist collective who will um, introduce their work and then we'll have, um, I'm just looking right now, three presentations, no, four presentations, sorry. One, no, one, two, three. Sorry, the one has a very long title. So, and the last one is actually in person. So I'd like to um, invite and welcome um, Professor Paul Coulton. I hope this is the right pronunciation. Um, he's chair of speculative and game design. Um, and together with his colleagues, um, Dr. Joseph Lindley and Dr. Adrian Gradenart, there are um, at um, Lancaster University. Um, and they are members of the academic team at Imagination Lan Lancaster, one of the United Kingdom's leading design-led research labs. Welcome. Okay, hopefully that image is up there. Um, so, although I, I think much of the talks have been about smart cities, this is about the smart home, but in many ways, the critiques of design that go along in this film are equally uh, relevant to the smart city, um, which arguably the smart home is just the front line of that um, network smartification or, or as I'd probably say networkification. Um, the simplest way to describe ghosts in the smart home is that it's a soap opera in which all the protagonists are what might be described as smart internet of things objects. And the plot explores the perspectives of these devices in relation to a security breach on the home network. And the uh, soap opera plays out through these devices and no humans are, are, are part of the film. The work itself is part of a, a bigger body of research that seeks to challenge the proposition of human-centered design in the context of networkification and solutionism, which is are prevalent in the creation of smart things. We argue that human-centered art design often seeks to uh, obfuscate the role of smart design uh, devices in the co connecting us to larger assemblages of things in the name of simplicity and that human users are really the center of these assemblages. Uh, in particular, it draws on the work of Ian Bogger's proposition of alien phenomenology, which is itself a form of object-orientated ontology, which rejects correlationism. In other words, that things only matter if they matter to humans. To rather to consider that almost anything can be a thing within the Internet of Things, not just smart devices, but humans, business models, algorithms, regulations, policies, the climate. And that all these things are operating within complex assemblages of interdependent relationship, but through their own independent perspectives. A simple example might be, you might have a Nest thermostat at home. From a your as the user perspective, um, that's simply to turn your heat up and down. But if you look at the algorithms on the network, their perspective is you're just a generating data points and they have no real interest in your thermal comfort. Um, the film is really a, then a practical intel attempt at philosophical carpentry to kind of highlight how we might better design objects that ex exist within the Internet of Things or any network and move away from this kind of notion of simplicity, the invisible computer, which arguably uh, do nothing to, for human legibility or understanding. Um, I hope you have time to watch it and hopefully enjoy it, but that's all I really want to say on this. So um, please feel free to uh, leave comments on the mirror board and I will pick them up. 